Philippians chapter 1 verse 7. Hebrews chapter 1. Rather let us read uh, verse 14 first. Verse 14. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14. Hallelujah. Angels are on assignment to serve the children of God. It is in the Bible. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14. The Bible says, Are they not all ministering spirit? That means that all the angels are ministering spirit, including angel Gabriel, angel Michael, and all the angels, they are ministering spirit. The Bible says, Send forth to minister for them who shall be the heirs of salvation. The angels are sent forth to minister for them who shall be the heirs of salvation. If you are a child of God, angels are already dispersed or they have already been charged to take care of you. Praise the name of God. Foundations determine the future of everything that men set out to do. That is what we are taking tonight, that God build my foundation with angelic assistance. Foundation is very key. It determines the future of everything that men set out to do. A faulty foundation cannot stand storms. When your foundation is not strong, when your foundation is not built right, it might fall. We see the Bible. Let us see the book of Psalms. Chapter 11, verse 3. Psalm 11, verse 3. Hallelujah. Psalm 11, verse 3. Shortly we shall be praying. And God will visit us mightily. In Jesus' name. Psalm 11, verse 3. The Bible says, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? If your foundation is not right, it can be destroyed. If your foundation is not built in the right way, with the right manner, then it can, fall, it can be faulty or it can fail in times of storm. The foundation of a thing determines the lifespan and the manifestation of that thing. We understand, as we shall see in scriptures, that angelic help or assistance helps strengthen our foundation. That is why you see men that manifested the glory of God. They, at the first place, or in the beginning of their ministry, we see the ministration of angels. We see angels coming to minister to them. We see angels helping them to build their foundation. And our example is Jesus Christ in the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 11 and also verse 13. Let us read. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 4 verse 11. Right. The Bible says, then the devil lived him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Then verse 13. And leaving Nazareth, he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is upon the sea coast, in the borders of Zablon and Nephilim. Verse 16. The people which sat in darkness saw great light, and to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light sprang up. We see Jesus Christ after the devil left him, after being tempted and overcoming the enemy, Bible says the angels came and ministered, ministered to him. And he left that place. And we see the ministry of Jesus from that particular scripture onwards and we see the things that Christ did during his time 
when he manifested the glory of God on earth. Praise the name of God. So, angelic help is key. It is strengthens us to stand on a sure foundation. I will see that. Every child of God has been assigned angels that go before them to build and secure their destiny. As I was studying, I discovered that in many occasions, it is the nature of angels to go before. The angels go before. Actually, in the Bible, we see when the angel of God that was behind the children of Israel went before them. So, it is the nature of the angels or angels to go before. The reason why angels go before is to build a foundation of something. Whatever begins for something to grow is the foundation. Whatever is laid on the ground before something takes off is its foundation. So the Bible shows us that every time that God wanted to do something, he will send angels before. Let us see several scriptures that uh, portray this, that angels always go before. Exodus chapter 23 verse 2. Uh, multimedia, if you can help us. Thank you so much. We will read a couple of scriptures. You can help us to check them quickly. That will be great. Exodus 23, verse 2. Then after this, we see Exodus 14, verse 19. Bible says, Thou shalt not follow multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Exodus 23. Let's see Exodus 14, 19. Exodus 14, 19. And the angel of the Lord, which went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind them, and the pillar of the cloud went from before their face and stood behind them. Verse 20. And it came between the camp of Egyptian and the camp of Israel, and it was a cloud of darkness to them, but it gave light by night to these, so that the one came not near the other all the night. Let's see Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14. Hallelujah. We already read this. Um, let's check <coughs> Exodus 23, verse 20. 23, verse 20. Hallelujah. 23, 20. Exodus 23, 20. Behold, I sent an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I have prepared. Hallelujah. Let's see a couple of scriptures. Exodus chapter 32 verse 24. Exodus 32 24. And I say unto them, let's see Exodus 32 verse 2. Verse 2. All right. Then as the scripture I'm looking for. Let's proceed. So um, angels, we have seen in the scripture, they go before um, the children of God to prepare a way or to build a secure foundation before they begin to enter to occupy. Angels are God's messengers to us. They direct us to make us to make correct choices. It also quickens us. We see this in the book of Genesis 24, verse 7, verse 12, and verse 14, respectively. They are messengers to us. God send them. They are messengers. Bible says, The Lord God of heaven, which took me from my father's house.
house and from the land of my kindred, we spake unto me that and that so unto me say, unto thy seed will I give this land. He shall send this angel before thee. Thou shalt take a wife unto my son from thence. The proceeding. Say verse 7, verse 12, and verse 14. And he said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, I pray thee, send me a good speed this day, and show kindness unto my master Abraham. Verse 14. And he said unto me, The Lord before whom I walk will send his angel with thee, and prosper thy way. Thou shalt take a wife of my son of my kindred and of my father's house. Those were the words of Abraham. Bible says, if you read the beginning of that chapter, you will see that the Bible says Abraham was aging. He began, he was growing old and his days were drawing near. The Bible says he began to charge his servant that was in charge of his household that he may get a wife for his son. And he involved God and said that God will send an angel before you. I want us to take our first prayer this night of God. Send an angel before me in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, send an angel to prepare my foundation. Everything that I'm about to do, everywhere that I'm about to step into, whatever you're about to be to me, my father, my father, send an angel before me. Let him prepare the way. Jesus, I will say that Abraham spoke to his son, and he told him that God that brought me from my father's house, he will send an angel before you, he will send an angel before you, he understands that marriage is a foundation, if you found the foundation in marriage, you cannot enjoy marital pleasure, if you do not do the right thing, if you enter marriage in the wrong you may end up in crisis. Therefore, Abraham knew that his own and he said, My God, that brought me from my father's house, he will send an angel to you. He will deliver, he will deliver the wife of my son by the help of angels. The night of the prayer of my father, let angels have signed for my destiny. Thank <laughs> you. 
mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Angels are all round about us. Um, if our eyes are not open to behold the ministry of angels, we may not know when they are available. Praise the name of God. We may not discover when they are present. Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 2 that some have entertained since not to do hospitality for some have so in so doing have entertained angels. Hebrews 13 verse 2 in so doing they have entertained angels. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers for thereby some have entertained angels and are aware. Sometimes we may not discover when they are present, but because of our the, the continuity, because of our service to God, because of our lifestyle of goodness, we entertain angels. The Bible says, and angels were going to Sodom. They were spying Sodom to destroy the city. After God commanded, and the Bible says, and Lord saw them, and he welcomed them in his house.
Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We may have a seat for a minute as we proceed. So, um, you don't need, it is necessary for you to know and to be aware that angels are around about you. Sometimes you don't need to see them. They are round about us. Sometimes you don't need to see them. They are round about us. We don't need to see them. We know they are there. Praise the name of God. The devil knows they are there. We know they are in charge. He cannot do anything. Praise the name of God. Therefore, we need to be sensitive in the spirit. But whenever battles arise, we know the angels around taking charge of the situation being in charge taking responsibility because we saw it in the bible let us read again we are going to read uh, hebrews chapter one from let's read from verse two downwards to verse 14. you will see angels angels are not they are not sons of god angels are ministers that are on a sign we have been given a special place as sons of God. We have been given a special place. Let us read. As in these last days spoken unto us by his son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he meant the world. Verse 3. Whom being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the words of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on I, verse 4, being men so much better than the angels, as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. So the name of is higher than angels, is far much place above angels. Verse 5. For unto which of the angels said he at any time, when did God speak and tell the angels, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee, and again I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. Verse 6. And again, when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he saith, And let the, all the angels of God worship him. Verse 7. Out of the angels he saith, O naked his angel spirit, and his ministers a flame of fire. Verse 8. But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne of God, O God, is forever and ever a scepter of righteousness is a scepter of thy kingdom thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity therefore god even thy god has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows verse 10 and thou lord in the beginning has laid the foundation of the earth and the heavens are the works of thy own verse 11 they shall perish but thou remainest and they shall all work in as God a couple and as a vessel shall thou fall them up and they shall be changed but thou art the same in thy ears shall not fail but to which of the angels say he at any time sit on my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. In, in other words, the angels are on assignment, but the sun is on the right side of God. He says to the sun, sit at the right side until I make your enemies thy footstool. He say that to me and you, sit on my right side. Until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Who is God using to make our enemies our footstool? It is the minister of the angels of God. And they not are they not all ministering spirit sent for 
salvation. So the angels are an assignment concerning our destiny. So their responsibility is to work for us. Praise the name of God. Tonight we are going to make some declaration. Our angels will soon into action. They will preserve our lives and our foundation will be sure in the name of Jesus. Let us to take our first prayer. If we may lift our right hand of power as we declare the prayer, it shall be fine. Say after me, Lord, Lord, assign angels all down my destiny to secure foundation for me. To secure foundation for me and my generation in the name of Jesus. Let us go ahead and pray the prayer. My Father, Lord, assign angels over my destiny. Assign according to your word. Your word of faith to us. They are ministering spirit. And therefore, my Father, assign them to hide.
Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Or us to take another prayer. Lift your right hand as we pray. We'll take them very shortly. We shall be done. Um, say to me, Lord, as sign angels over my destiny to change my foundation from failure to success from curse to blessing in Jesus name I, I want to give us a scripture as we pray that prayer so that we can see uh, what the prayer point is Genesis 32 verse 24 to 28 Genesis 32 24 to 28 Bible say, and Jacob was left alone. There he wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. When he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the honor of his thigh, and the honor of Jacob's thigh was understood as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a priest as thou power with God, I will men and as prevail. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. We see the story of Jacob in this particular place. We saw the story of Jacob when he went to Laban's house. And how God began to help him until he left the place. The Bible says, At the return of Jacob, this is at the return of Jacob, there is when Jacob discovered his destiny. I will say suddenly there appeared a man. And Jacob began to wrestle the man. Because whenever your eyes are, are open to the things of God, you grab the opportunities. You grab the chance, the opportunity, and you claim it for your life. And we see the transformation of Jacob from this story. So I want us to pray. We saw the story of Jacob that... Jacob was a deceiver. Jacob could not make it. He had to cheat to make it in life. And it became a lifestyle. But he could not succeed in that way. His life was beyond that. Until he met an angel of God. That his life was changed. His foundation was altered for good. I us to pray that prayer. That God assigned angels to change my foundation. But avenge my foundation need sanctuary. Father, send an angel to perform me tonight. Send an angel to do a better work. Send an angel to purge me. Send an angel to scrutinize. Send an angel to do something on my foundation. Send an angel to rectify. 
Pray a very key prayer 
We prayed in the beginning, but we're going to pray it again. We saw it in the book of uh, Second Kings, chapter chapter six and verse sixteen and seventeen. We saw that Elisha had a servant that did not know that the presence of God was available. That did not know the presence of angels was there. That did not know that God provided tighty security for them, and he began to cry. The Bible says that the servant of Elisha cried. Alas, master, how shall we do? Because his eyes were closed. I want us to pray that, Father, open my eyes. Open down my eyes to behold the victory before me. The angelic help that you have already seen. You have seen that you prayed a prayer. And your eyes are still closed. You will be like the servant of Elisha. You begin to cry.
prayer points and we shall be done. I want us to read Zechariah chapter 3 verse 1. Um, our foundation can be good. But if it is not secured, it can be corrupted. If we are not careful, it can be corrupted. Zechariah chapter 3 verse 1. Hallelujah. It's on the screen. And he showed me <clears throat> Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at his right hand to assist him. Verse 2. Verse 2. And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that has chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of fire? Verse 3. Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and stood before the angel. He stood before his helper in a filthy garment and the devil was already resisting him. Verse 4. He answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy coming from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thy misery to pass from thee. I will clothe thee with a change of raiment. And I said, Let them set a fair might upon his head. So they set a fair might upon his head and clothed him with a great and the angel of the Lord stood by. The angel was still around because he's a minister. And the angel of the Lord protested unto Joshua, saying, Thus is the Lord of hosts, if thou will walk in my ways, and if thou will keep my charge, then thou shalt also charge my house, and I shall also keep my coat, and I will give thee pleasures to walk up creating a foundation for him. He told him, if, you see, whenever the God says, that says the Lord, if thou will do this, and he will do this to you, it is a foundation that God was creating for Joshua. And he told him, you will stand. He will give him places to walk among these that stood by him. The devil wanted to resist him, but he could not do so because of angelic ministry. Praise God. I want us to pray. Allow Lord send your angel to deliver me from corrupt foundation. Lord send your angel to deliver me from corrupt foundation. The ultimate goal of the devil is to destroy souls and see them in hell. But the will of God is to deliver us for salvation to himself. Bible says he will present to himself a church. It means that God is in the business to deliver, not to destroy. 
want us to pray that prayer my father lord send your angel to deliver me from corrupt foundation in the mighty name of jesus in my life in my family in my ministry in whatever that i do papa send your angel let it deliver me from healthy corrupt foundation Lastly, I want us to read Zechariah chapter 4, verse 1 to 9, that we take the last prayer this evening. Zechariah chapter 4. Bible says, And the angel that talked with me came again and woke me, as a man that is wakened out of his sleep, and said unto me, where seest thou? And I said, I have looked and behold a candlestick all of gold with a ball upon the top of it and the seven lamps thereon and seven pipes to the seven lamps which are upon the top thereof. Two holy trees by it, one upon the right side of the ball and the other upon the left side thereof. So I answered and spoke unto the angel that talked with me, saying, What are these, my Lord? Then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me, Knowest thou not what this be? And I said, No, my Lord. Then he answered and spoke unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, not by power, but my spirit, see the Lord of us. Verse 7. O art thou, O great mountain, because Zerubbabel, thou shalt become a plain, and it shall be for the headstone, thereof we shouting, crying, grace, grace unto it. As we can see, it shall bring for the headstone. That is the foundation. Verse 8. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, The hands of Zerubbabel have laid the foundation of this house by the power of God, by the assistance of angels, God will lay foundation by our hands in the name of Jesus, and his hands shall also finish it. And thou shalt know that the Lord of us has sent me unto you. I want us to pray this prayer. The Lord sent angelic help to me that my hands will bring down mountains before me that have entered my foundation. When mountains are symbolic, when you see mountains, is mountain is an obstacle. It's something that will prevent your progress. It's something that will prevent your action. So the mountain in this scripture, it was an obstacle to Zerubbabel. Bible says, but God has already given him victory. He has already laid those mountains flat. They are not placed. He has given him power to build the house. And he will finish it because the hand of God is upon him. And us to pray this prayer. Lord, send angelic help to me that my hands will bring down mountains before me that have entered my foundations. Rise on our feet as we pray this prayer. Lord, send angelic help to me. 
angels to me. Bible says the angel waked me. I was asleep. The angel waked me out of sleep. And he began to show me the things that be. He began to speak to me the things that are coming to pass. The things that are about to happen. I have to pray, Father, tonight send me angelic assistance that will help me to wipe away mountains before me. To level mountains before me. Every mountain that has been at my phone. No matter any kind of mountain, no matter what it is, tonight I command you to be flattened. Tonight I destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. as we welcome our money this evening to close the meeting for us. We appreciate our money. As she comes, let's give God praise in the name of Jesus. As she's coming, let's give God praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's give God praise as she comes in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate Jesus with our hand clap. Hallelujah. Is that the best we can do? that your hands are touching each other and clapping. It's not a reflex action that is uh, uh, just like that. Oh. oh, yeah, put those hands together in worship, in adoration. Hallelujah. That your hands can move. Move it for the Lord. Move it for the Lord. Put it together for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Father, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stretch our hands. So the vessel that God have used to lead us to pray this evening, let's ask for a feeling that the Lord will fill him up. The Lord will fill him to overflow in the name of Jesus Christ. That he will begin to experience angelic assistance in a greater dimension. Himself and his family in the name of Jesus. That he will understand the ministry of angels because they will be real to him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your son and your servant. You have used the Lord even to minister to us this evening. Thank you, O Lord, even because in his life he will begin to experience, O Lord, even a greater dimension of angelic assistance in the mighty name of Jesus. And thank you, O Lord, because all the prayers we have prayed this evening will begin to see answers to them by your mercy in the name of Jesus. We'll begin to see answers. To these things in Jesus name we declare and declare that our angels will not be dormant our angels will be active in the name of Jesus our angels will not just be following us but they will be active working in our favor in the name of Jesus father we worship and adore you thank you Holy Spirit of God for that which you have done in our lives that which you have deposited in our lives will not be taken away in the name of Jesus. The traffic of angels around our destiny will be on the increase. Not just for tonight. Not just for tonight. But forever. Thank you, Father. 
in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. If you have prayed, I'm thinking that saying amen will not now be difficult. 